Hey, thanks for tuning back into my channel. It's your girl Spencer and I'm back with another video. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a demo of the Shack Smokeless Grill Press. I was able to pick up this smokeless grilling press from Sam's Club and it was on sale for $49. I'm not sure if the sale is still going, but I did get it up, did pick it up from Sam's Club for $49 and the original retail price is typically $99. So it's about half off. So this smokeless grilling press is a three in one. It's a contact grill and a panini press and also an open grill. So I guess you can grill with the lid up. So let me go ahead and unbox this. I have the grill out the box and it was packaged really well. Now um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the plastic from, I guess these are the grill plates. And now we can see the heating element and I'm gonna remove the styrofoam. And this is the drip tray. I guess this is the first drip tray because there's another one underneath at the bottom. And that just goes around the heating element. So I do wanna say that this um, grill was packaged very well. And the only thing that I'm kind of like struggling with is that the fact that the appliance base or the base of the appliance does feel kind of cheap. And I think that would be my only critique. It doesn't really, it doesn't really feel like it was made with premium um, hardware or equipment. The aluminum on the outer part of the um, appliance does feel really cheap. So here's a quick start guide that I hope you get started with the grill. And everything seemed kind of, um, self-explanatory but i'm going to go ahead and review the instructions and get everything set up so this is the grill plate you get two grill plates you get one for the inside the base and then you also get one for the lid and the grill plates feel pretty good they don't feel as cheap as the um the paneling the outside paneling and it also has the heating element um outline so you can just go ahead and adjust it and sit it in and it's adjustable, it goes up and down. And I'm gonna put it on the top. I'm gonna add the top grill plate. So my bad for not um, showing you guys how to add the top grill plate. I forgot to readjust my camera. But I did wanna say about the two grill plates, they're pretty much the same size and they both feel pretty um, premium. They both feel pretty heavy. As you can see underneath the grill plates, they have the outlining of the heating element and the top has its own separate outline as the bottom out has, a, has its own separate outline as well. So that's how you can determine which one goes which. And you can also look at the um, instructions also. So let's get into the control panel. This control panel has a time and temperature button, a top heating element button, an LCD screen, which is pretty small, but it does show the cooking time and temperature with small icons that indicate the top and bottom heating elements. Also, it does have a temperature and time adjustment button and a fan button to turn the fan on and off. So it looks like I'm done with the initial setup. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and clean these grill plates and I'm gonna be back with a demo. I think I'm gonna just do a grilled cheese, something um, quick and simple using the, I guess the panini press feature. We'll do a grilled cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the temperature. There's no panini press feature on this um, control panel, but I am adjusting the temperature so that way I can go ahead and do a grilled cheese. Now I'm adding the bread and this is um, just regular white bread. I added butter to the side that I just placed down and I'm gonna go ahead and add two slices of cheese and then the additional bread on top. And then the top bread, I'm gonna also butter that one as well. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and secure the lid. And hopefully it just pushes it down enough so that way it can do its thing. So I did have to readjust the cook time for some reason when I hit the top lid or the indicator to, to use the upper cook element, it by default went to 12 minutes. So I know I don't need 12 minutes for a grilled cheese. So I'm just adjusting the time. So here it is, the grilled cheese panini. So the top, top bread, you can actually see the grill marks. And on the bottom, 
it toasted up pretty well. I just wish the top did the same thing, but for the most part, it is nice and crispy and toasty, but not so much for the top part. It is toasted, but it's just not as um, dark as the bottom. And the cheese is actually melted also. Just, I just really like how the bottom bread came out. It turned out really good. So I'm just gonna turn it over and I'm gonna go ahead and cut into my grilled cheese sandwich. And the sandwich and cheese look really good. So I guess I'm gonna do a little bit more playing around with this um, grilling press to see how I really like it. But first impressions, I think it's okay. I think it was definitely worth $49. I don't know about the $100, but it is worth $49. So if you can get it on sale, then go ahead and just pick one up. But I don't know about full retail price. But let me know what you guys think if you have it. Let me know what you guys think of the Shack Grill and Press in the comments below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.